good morning everyone welcome back to my channel um, today I thought it would be fun to do uh, uh, Michael's haul video um, yesterday I went to Michael's I had some reward points to use and my awesome husband said he'd spoil me and stuff so we uh, went there and before I get going for everything that I bought, the total after my um, my savings and plus they had a lot of things on sale yesterday came to I don't know if you can see that twenty three twenty four, <clears throat> which is a good price for what I got. So let's start off with the smaller items first. I, I got this little 6x6 um, six six Christmas embossed paper. And I, I'm not sure if the film camera, I mean, is going to pick up the embossed part. But this looks like snowflakes. Um, some trees. You know, like the, um, what do they call it? The white maple. Some Christmas holiday. What's this? this is like snowflakes and swirls. And then lastly is Santa and his sleigh. That's really cute. That was half off. So regular price $5.99. So like 3 bucks. Everything was 50% off on the um, Christmas decoration. Here I, I got two of these because I'm doing uh, my gingerbread. Uh album and I'm like oh my god those will look cool somewhere and there so I got those those were the last two and then these cute little Santas and I got those now the paper pads were the hot buys they were buy one get two free how can you pass that up not that I needed paper because I really don't need paper but when they're that cheap so I didn't get all Christmas. I got two Christmas ones and one Valentine because Valentine will be the next holiday we'll all be crafting. Okay, so these are Best Buy, uh, Hot Buys, Best Buys. And this is from Recollection. It looks like they changed their uh, logo because that's different from their other logo. But anyway, I like it. This one is wrapped with care paper pad and I love how bright the colors are so I'm just going to show you it's sorry that it's going to be sideways but I didn't take the um you know how they have this plastic I didn't take that off yet but there's some cars cute snowman this is holiday cheer you know these pages here I don't usually use these too often. What am I going to use it for? I have no clue. But if you have ideas for using this, except for a wall hanging or something, let me know because I always get stuck. I don't know what to use these big pages for. I mean, you can cut this out or whatever, but let me know your ideas on these pages. That's pretty. Oh, I love the green. Green's my favorite color. <gasps> Look at them pretty trees. I love them trees. Now see, here's another page. I mean, what can you use that for? I have no clue. Unless you're making a big 12 by 12 album, which I never do. Like a scrapbook album, maybe. That's a pretty scene. Now this, you could cut it down and use... Uh, one side for a front cover and the other side for a back cover. Look how nice. I just love these colors, how bright they are. And they go so well. Here's some cutter pots. Two pages of those. Then some stripes. Stripes hurt my eyes. I don't know why, but they do. This is a pretty page. 
Make some more stripes. This I might be able to use in my um, gingerbread that I'm making now. Oh, I love that. I have so many paper pads, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Will I ever get through them? I doubt it. This is pretty. I should just make more and more journals and things and stop buying paper, but when they have seals, it's hard to not buy paper. Oh, that's nice. That would make a nice journal cover. Six by six pieces. Oh my god, that's cool. My hands get tired. Oh, they got it in green. Christmas in the air. Snowflake. See, that's an old thing. But I guess if you do uh, scrapbooking, it's not wasteful. But I don't do scrapbooking, which I should. But I don't. Alright, that's that pad. I'm going to do the Valentine last. This one's called White Christmas. Oh, this one's actually undone. Undone? Is that a word? Undone? <laughs> so I can actually do this. Oh, look at these. are gorgeous. The tags. And little... Oh, my goodness. These will be fun to work with. You cut them off. Take the smaller tag and hang it on the bigger tag. Oh, my God. I just love this. That's really pretty. You've got two pages. See, there's two pages of each. My paper smells like um, cinnamon, too, because I bought one of those bags of cinnamon uh, pine cones. My paper smells like that. Here's some pretty music paper. I think I might scan that in so I can save that. Oh, my. See, I love green and all shades. This is so pretty. I think this is going to be my favorite book to work with. Oh my, love that. Now see here, even though this is a Christmas book, you could actually get away using this for other um, journals besides Christmas. Because it's just little leaves. Oh wow. If you have a snowman themed journal, Perfect. Look that. Oh my. <laughs> Am I driving you crazy with oh my? Oh. <laughs> I just love this paper pad. This is like glitter for the snow. Oh my god, I love it. I might not even use the paper pad. I might just hoard it and look at it all the time. <laughs> Or maybe I'll make myself a journal, a personal journal. Because, you know, I decided I have to get, like, a, a three-ring binder or something. Because I receive so many pretty things from people. And I have them tucked away. And I have some on my wall, and I have others tucked away. And if I could make a journal, like, for every season, like, for, say, for now, Christmas, and have a place to put all this stuff in, and then I can look through it now and then... I have to do that because some people, some people, I should say some of my crafty friends send me some beautiful things and, and I got them spread out around my room, but you can't keep everything out. So if I had a nice place for it, so maybe I'll make myself a scrapbook. There I go, because I have scrapbooks laying around of uh, one for each season. Christmas memories, scrap memories, or something like that. There's an idea. Oh, look at this silver. Oh my god, that's so pretty. This paper pad is beautiful. I don't know if the camera is picking up the shimmer, but oh my god, it's so pretty. Here's some snowflakes. Gorgeous. Oh, look at this, more trees. Pine cones, not pine cones, uh, acorns. Oh, look at this. Like, sweater. Oh, my God, that's pretty. I didn't make a nice bag. Oh, my God, this is going to be my favorite 
page. Are you ready? Look at that. Oh my god, I love that. Cut this down the middle, have this for a front page and have this for a back page. Look how cute. Oh my god, I just left it. Oh, the next page is making me crazy. Holy cow, I don't know about you, but stripes hurt my eyes. I don't know why, but it does. It came upon a midnight clear. Oh, this is like the lyrics to some Christmas songs. That's cool. I haven't listened to Christmas music in a long time. Here's a snowflake page. That's pretty. And that is also like silver uh, embossed. I don't know. Like I said, if the camera's picking it up. Here's some more tags and cutter pots. I just love the colors. There's two pages of that. Oh, look at lovely stars. I just love this paper tag. Here's another pretty scene. The colors go so well together. Oh, doves. Oh, this is pretty. Wow. Last year, the pink Christmas one was my favorite. This year, it's definitely this paper pad is my favorite. Because, I mean, the pages, the colors. I love green. That's my color. And that's it for that pad. Oh, my God. That's so gorgeous. Love, love, love that one. Now, you know what? I think I am going to open this up. Because it's just better for you to see the pages better. This one's Valentine's. And I think I have a few Valentine papers pads but can't hurt to have more <laughs> right ladies <gasps> or gents more the merrier all right okay so this one is called be my valentine you know holidays please mention below which holiday you like the best. Christmas and Halloween are my favorites. I know. Opposite of the spectrum, right? But yeah. I love those two holidays the best. Oh, this is so pretty. See, I would probably cut this out. And use it for something else. Maybe wrap it around a journal. Not the whole thing. Just cut around here. I might even use put this on my uh, scanning cut and let the scanning cut cut it out. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, This is cute. Cut of pots. Pretty hearts. Kiss, kiss. That's cute. Oh, this is pretty. Love that. All the goodies. Oh, that's different. How cool is that? And you know what? If you have some old uh, Scrabble pieces, cut a piece of this off for a cover and use the real Scrabble pieces. Oh my god, that would be such an awesome idea. That looks like, oh, this is the opposite of the other one. Some more cutter pots and tickets and things. There's something flying around in here. These, we get these little tiny, tiny flies and gnats. I don't know what they're called, but I'm surprised they survive. Now, see, I would probably cut a pot around it. I don't know. Those type of pages I waste because I don't use them. Scan them. 
probably scan them in my computer and then shrink them. Then I'll be able to use them. This is pretty. Some big journaling cards. That's an idea. Oh, I like this. Oh, some six by six. That's nice. Hugs and kisses, be mine. Fall in love. Some more journal cards. So cute. Probably going to give you a sneak peek of my next journal, too. Happy Valentine's Day. Now, that's nice. You know, another thing you do is get one of those uh, wood plaques with the, there's like four or five pieces, and like cut this down and lay them on each slab and then hang this on your door. That's an idea. Alright, that's that one. Alright, so that's my paper haul and things from Michael's yesterday. <clears throat> Let me know which one you thought was the best. My best is that middle one with the green and stuff. The Winter Wonderland one. That was my favorite. Let me know which one's your favorite. Now, for a sneak peek at my next journal. Here we go. It's a gingerbread house journal. <laughs> and... I used some plastic canvas for the windows and the door and I used some jute red white and green jute for like the icing around the edges and then I uh, added some washi tape behind there to make it look like decoration you know on the cookie and I used some of these cute a few ladies I wish I wrote their names down because I'm so dumb because I could mention who they were I asked on my Facebook group if anyone had anything uh, for gingerbread houses because at first I was having trouble finding gingerbread items for my journal and a few ladies sent me some items and one lady sent me these cute little gingerbread ladies or men or whatever they are and I have some other gingerbreads that I haven't used yet, but I will when I start decorating the inside, but she sent me those. I found these stickers at Michael's, I believe, no, Hobby Lobby. Now, this roof is, uh, um, what do you want, what do I want to call it? Not sequins. Yeah, it's almost like a sequins material. I thought that would look cute for the roof, because it almost looks like a, um, what do you call it? Shingles. And then I bought some big rick rack that I thought I was going to use a lot more. But it's kind of big for this size. So I just put it at the top. I had a couple buttons that someone sent me. So um, I put that on the edge. This actually isn't sewed onto the book. I glued it. I used one of these Tim Holtz door handle things. There. I found this pretty ribbon. I think believe it's at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And I bought red and then, well, it was together in a, a spool. Red and green. And I think there was only the two colors. That's where that came. I left my spine exposed because at first I wasn't sure if I was going to add signatures to this one. But then I decided to at the last minute. <laughs> and on the back it's still plain. But I plan on adding these washi strips and then I'm thinking of putting a big window here with a Christmas tree inside um, I'm still debating and I use some of this white cardstock from behind to make it look like uh, frosting you know on a cookie and I put dots red and green dots I don't know if the camera can pick that up but to me that looks like the frosting that you see on some of the uh, cookies and then I have these uh, poinsettias that I bought. I think I got those also at um, Hobby Lobby. Alright. So I started getting the inside ready. There's going to be... I added a pocket here. At first I didn't have a pocket. 
and I didn't mention I use paper bags again <laughs> these ones here I just trimmed off the top so for the front and back cover I actually put them on I reinforced it with cardboard so that um I think I used a, yeah a thin piece of cardboard card not cardboard chipboard so that the covers are sturdy but yeah I use paper bags again and um, so I made a pocket here because I, I did glue that this edge I glued it down so I added a pocket and then all the other bags their pockets are open so, so these are the pages that I added there's only I use five sheets so that's 10 and 20 all together if you count back and front so this is my printable, uh, my digital that I printed out. I created the pages and scanned them in and digitized them. So I just cut them down. And I printed it, this time I printed it on this uh, the parchment paper. And I love the way the colors came out. So see, I didn't get too much decorating yet. And that's the back. But there's a sneak peek at my next journal. And hopefully I get some time to work on it this weekend. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm getting so close to 2,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. And once that happens, I will have a giveaway. So spread the word, ladies. Because whoever signs up for my channel as a subscriber will be entered in the, the uh, drawing. And um, so that will be coming up soon. I mean, I think I'm at like 1,930 something subscribers, something like that. I haven't checked it today. But once that happens, it would be nice if I hit it by the end of the year. But uh, I don't know. Things are slow. But I don't mind. Whenever I hit it, there's going to be a giveaway. And I'm not sure what that is yet. It might be a journal. It could be a junk journal pack. You know, with everything that you need to make a journal i don't know yet but anyway thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button like i said uh let me know what you like best about the video what paper pad you liked and if you didn't like anything let me know and i hope you all um are staying safe and i hope you get to be with your family in some way <clears throat> i don't know you know, I don't want to say don't go visit your family because I'm not your mother. <laughs> but I mean, I just hope everybody stays safe and um, let's get this virus under control. And as always, you have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.